miss her smile. She had an amazing smile at one time. I, I remember she had just gotten her braces off and she thought she was for sure that she was gonna go work for a toothpaste company and be one of those people that had their, their smile on the toothpaste box. The morning of November the 10th was just a regular day. Alex didn't have to be at school till 9.30 because of her college classes that she was taking in high school. So Katrina and I went on to school. When I left, I just um, called her name and said, I'm leaving. She went, wait a minute. She came running out of her room and she came up there and gave me a hug and pushed her hair back like she did every day. And I kissed her on the forehead and said, be good today. And I left, you know, just a normal day. About um, 9.30, the aide came in from the college class and said that Alex had not made it to school and wanted to know if she was supposed to be there that day. Of course she was. She just never would answer her phone, so I went and told the office I needed to go find her. I knew where she was and I knew what had happened. Just in my heart, I, I knew she had taken a back road to school that morning. She wasn't supposed to take it because it was a dangerous road. And that's where I found her truck, out in the field. The doctors had come in the second time and told us that they didn't think Alex would make it, that they'd lost her several times, and they needed to know what we wanted to do. And my husband and I had to make the decision to let her go. We were out in the hall waiting for him to get her cleaned up so we could go, go see her one last time. I think everything about my life changed. For a long time it was hard to laugh, to really be joyfully happy. There are times when we were at, Katrina and I would be out doing stuff and I would feel like I needed to text Alex and tell her what was going on because I knew she would like it. And then I would remember I couldn't tell her. I was supposed to be able to go visit her at college right now. You know, embarrass her on campus in front of all of her friends. <laughs> they can't do that. It's just a whole part of my life that's gone now. She left me a note, all oh, probably six or eight months before she had a wreck. And this Alex hearts you, you know, on my windshield with a dry erase marker, and it's still there. You know, I can't, can't bring myself to wipe it off. You know, I just, I, I look at it every day. After Alex died, and we went home, I got on the internet to check her phone records. My husband came up and goes, what are you doing? I said, I want to know if she's texting and driving. And he said she was. With kids that age, I think it's, a, it's more of an addiction. You know, they have to get that text. They have to be talking to somebody all the time. She believed me in so many things, and she did what I told her to do the whole time she was growing up. But this one thing, we couldn't get her to quit. I told her, I said, you've got to stop this. So you're going to have a wreck if you continue to do this. But her mentality was it wasn't going to happen to her because she looked me right in the eye and said, Dad, no, I'm not. That happens to other people. Distracted driving kills. Safe driving starts with you.